Hello everybody and welcome to our review of the Scenic Diamond in beautiful Bordeaux in France. We were allocated Private Balcony Suites Category BB, set out for twin arrangements. There's a console underneath the mirror which contains a Bordeaux guide along with a French guide as well. You'll see also bottles of water there that are replenished daily. And along with your scenic tailor-made guides, you'll see there on the charging stations that you need to make sure you take with you often. You can use them on deck as you're passing scenery, as well as when you're taking the guided tours off the ship. Plenty of storage within the cabin. And this is one of the huge benefits of river cruising is that you unpack once. It's like your hotel moves from one town to the next. Very well set out. As you can see, we didn't even use all the storage space. A fully stocked minibar, which is replenished daily. This is all included in the cruise fare. The bathroom itself is well set out. Recently completely refurbished. Lusitan toiletries. bathroom are refreshed every day by the cabin staff. Wonderful balcony. I highly recommend taking a balcony suite. It actually does make a big difference to be able to go out on your balcony in the morning and enjoy the scenery as you're going down the river. Our lovely butler Monica brought us a wake up each morning of coffee and croissant. Well, it's a great way to start the day. With just a touch of a button, you can turn your balcony area into a lovely sun lounge. So for any days that you have inclement weather, you're still able to give yourself some me time out here and still enjoy the passing scenery. Then we move on to the Royal Owner's Suite. Much bigger in space, a lovely lounge room area. This is highly recommended for our card members. This is what card members would be looking for. Fabulous bathroom with separate bath and shower and a beautiful balcony in, located in the middle. We also saw the Royal Panorama Suite, which is at the stern of the ship with a fantastic view out the back of the ship. Again, a lot more space and a wonderfully well set out spacious bathroom as well. Now let's move up into some of the public areas on the ship. A quick wave from our cruise director, Pete. He could not do enough for us. He was a brilliant cruise director. Lovely modern design ship. Very great feeling of spaciousness. The crystal dining room. Plenty of seating in here, even tables for two if you were traveling with your companion and you wanted to have a private night with just the two of you. Although a great place to catch up with some of you sailing companions on board. Our wonderful welcome gala dinner started with chicken consomme, then moved on to champagne risotto, which was amazing. An exquisite heart of rump on Bordeaux juice with truffled mashed potato, followed off with a coffee ice cream with pineapple sauce. And there we are enjoying a lovely glass of Bordeaux Red after dinner in the beautiful evening air outside. This area of the ship gets turned into Le Mans in the evening. And again we had an outstanding dinner when we were hosted in Le Mans. This 
was our menu for our wonderful dinner in L'Amour. It was absolutely exquisite. Started with an antipasto, which included a caramelised goat cheese with truffled honey. Absolutely outstanding. And the caramelised goat cheese there. Taste sensation. This was followed by a beautiful pea soup. And then you'll see Sophia with the biggest pepper grinder we've actually ever seen. Sophia having pepper on her pasta stuffed with sheep cheese and dried tomato. Then I had the duck breast with Alsace cabbage. And the wine in here, this wine was amazing. I've been trying to find this wine ever since I got back to Australia. Finished off with profiteroff rolls with cherries, mousse of pear with red wine jelly, and opera cake. Then we move in to the public areas of the lounge. This was a really lovely area. In the evening we had piano player. Kept everyone entertained. There's wonderful Sandra behind the bar. Sandra's service was out of this world. Always with a smile, nothing was ever too hard. All the crew on board were absolutely outstanding. Again, all inclusive. You can have whatever you like from the bar. Only very top shelf wine and champagnes was an additional charge. Then we move to some other activities you can do on board, which is the salt room. This is the breathe salt room, which is very good for allergies. A few of the team did try this during the, the voyage and really enjoyed it. They fell asleep in here. They said it was very relaxing and very nice space to actually go and completely chill out and breathe this lovely salt in. Then you'll find the gym, which is across the corridor on the other side of the ship. Very well equipped gym and you'll notice that the treadmills are actually built into the floor that's to give you a bit of extra height because on a river ship the ceilings can be quite low. Now we move outside to the front of the vessel where there is an outside area that's under cover, which you can use during inclement weather days. This is also a nice place you can come for a drink in the evening and just enjoy the passing scenery as well while you're sailing down the beautiful rivers of Bordeaux. There was also a wonderful uh, spa bath on board, um, a hot tub upstairs on the uh, sun deck, and we enjoyed that thoroughly. As you'll see, a couple of us enjoying the lovely weather in the spa bath up on the top deck. Being on the top deck is a wonderful way to view when you're going down the river, you'll see the bikes that they have there. For you to take off the ship. These are actually electrical powered bikes, so you're not doing all the hard work with pedaling. Got a covered area as well there up on the top deck. As I said, wonderful place to be on a beautiful day sailing down the river, seeing the beautiful scenery each side of the ship. Another view of the bikes there as well. Here they are folding down the canopies to go under one of the bridges. With the water being a little bit high, sometimes they do need to take down the canopies so that the clearance under the bridge is not compromised. One evening we had a beautiful 
off ship experience, their enrich experience. As you'll see, this is the daily activities, and we had a wonderful on enrich experience at Chateau Giscon. This was an amazingly beautiful chateau. The weather was extraordinary. It was about 28 degrees. You arrive for cocktails on the lawn. And then head in for dinner. The dining room and tables were beautifully set out, as you can see there. There we all are, enjoying the wonderful dinner. lovely trio they had playing for us here at Chateau Giscon, this fireplace, the menu, beautiful dinner we had this evening, the whole event was organised exceptionally well, wonderful Margot 2001, brought two bottles of those back with me, lovely goat cheese entree, beautiful dessert, the whole evening and event was wonderful. There's some of the team working off some of the food we've been eating on the um, powered bicycles. Bordeaux at night, as we were sailing in with the lights on. Very beautiful city, highly recommend visiting Bordeaux. Our final night on board, we had a lovely, lovely dinner. As you can see with the example of the menus, the wonderful dinner and an amazing choice of wine to have with your dinner every night. I must say again, the staff were outstanding, nothing was ever difficult. Always going out of their way for us, a wonderful experience. And this is what you need to see at the end of every holiday, wonderful smiling faces. They had beautiful risotto for entree, wonderful beef cheeks for main course and finished off with a lovely chocolate ice cream sundae. One of my companions had the lovely swan and it was now time to say goodbye to Bordeaux and the beautiful scenic diamond I certainly will be returning to this part of the world and taking another river cruise in scenic. Absolutely outstanding. After you go.